Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. I am a little bit under the weather, but I'm so excited for this. I do want to say that I'm highly grateful for all the lovely comments I received on my fountain pen video, which was about a couple videos ago. And I do plan on doing a fountain pen ink video soon. I do have like a couple more inks that are coming in and I want to wait till those get here before I do it and I was thinking about doing like a swab test and I don't have like all my samples laid out on any platform of like for me to visually see and um, organize so I think I'm going to do that with you guys so you can kind of see each and every color as I swab them out. So that's the plan for the future video, but right now I have a new addition to my fountain pen collection. Okay, so this is actually from Pen Chalet, which is a uh, online store that I also buy from fairly often when I learned about it, I think late last year. and. One of the things I really like is that their shipping isn't is free after fifty dollars or more, and they have pretty decent shipping. So I've never had an issue with any of the products I've purchased from them shipping wise. So yes, I got a sailor. Um, you also get like a coupon code, which is in this like cardstock. And then they give you a sticker, and I think this is a vinyl sticker. So I'll have to look at that, but it's in the shape of a fountain pen, which is pretty cool. So on to the big reveal. Look at that. So this is the Sailor 1911 Small. It's not the large one. Oh, you could tell that this has been packaged. It hasn't been, it's not like a plastic sleeve that you could easily slide out. You kind of have to pop it out, open it up. So you get the pen, and then under. You get a cartridge, two sailor, or a cartridge converter, sorry, and then you get the cartridge. You also get the uh, pamphlet, and with sailor cartridges, or with sailor converters, they suggest that you ink up your pen in the ink by dipping your nib into the pen and not necessarily rely slowly on the converter dipping into the ink. So I have my unicorn towel, I have my fountain pen, my converter, and then I have my Monsoon Sky writing ink. And this is a Krishna uh, ink, which I also purchased from Pen Chalet at a, uh, it was at a different time. Ooh, so this pen has a 21 karat gold nib and um, it's plated, so uh, it has silver plating and um, silver trim. But I love this color. It's called Freshka, I think. If I'm saying it correctly. And so I'm going to insert the converter. Just making sure it is working properly. And then I'm going to set those aside. Open my ink. This is a pretty blue ink, but it has like shading. So I'm going to do a writing sample so that you could see it. 
So with my piston converter, I am drawing up the ink a couple times to make sure I get a full load of ink. Make sure to cover your bottle so you don't worry about spilling it. And then I like to wipe off the handle and the nib. And then you put it back together. This has a really nice weight to it. Let me get a couple of samples of other fountain pens so you could see the relative size. So here's a Franklin Kristoff. It's another Franklin Kristoff. Birmingham fountain pen and a platinum 3776. To me the platinum 3776 is just slightly shorter but ideal in width and girth of the pen. And I have a Lamy 2000, which the same height. So these are the examples I have to show you. Now let's do like a little writing sample. So I have an idea notebook which has Tamoy River paper. I don't know if I. Oh, this is a fresh notebook. So the nib I got is the broad, and I hope I didn't make a mistake in getting this nib. I know uh, Japanese fountain pen nibs are run on the uh, smaller side, so I should be okay there, but we'll see how small a broad is. <laughs> I really like it. It does give a little bit of feedback, but it's a nice feel of feedback. So the only other fountain pen, sailor fountain pen I have is the Lacol, and this is a fountain pen that I got from jetpens.com and it only comes or it only came in one size, nib size, which is a medium fine. So let's test out that line. slightly wider just a hair in my opinion I think it is still a great daily writer because the line isn't too thick so you should still be able to write pretty small and I think this ink is actually like right on in my opinion you could see the shading with the dark and the light so I'm super excited I hope you guys like this little unboxing of my newest fountain pen. This is probably going to be my daily writer. I don't know. We'll see. You know, I just, I love my fountain pen, so I try to uh, use the ones I love in rotation. But this is definitely going to be used now. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. 
Again, the ink here is the Monsoon Sky by Krishna, and I got from Pen Chalet, and I got this pen from Pen Chalet as well, and I'm really excited and happy with my purchase. If you haven't already, please like this video, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.